Reiki Level 1, Lesson 15, Reiki Brings Comfort to Those Souls Crossing Over There is only one certainty in life, and that is that death comes to us all. Facing our own mortality is often difficult. We have two main choices in coming to terms with our own death or the death of a family member or friend. We can choose to view death as final and be consumed in grief, or we can envisage life after death and celebrate the transition to eternal life. Our beliefs and personal experiences shape how we deal with this extremely emotive issue. Losing a loved one can be a devastating blow to any family, especially if it's the first time they have had experience losing someone close. Looking back in hindsight and through my own research and subsequent experiences with people who came to me for help before dying, I found many common attitudes and mistakes associated with death. The Western world in general treats the subject of dying as taboo, something we shouldn't talk about. As a stark contrast, Eastern philosophy and the techniques and beliefs of many ancient cultures view death as a natural part of life. They believe that our souls are eternal. The body is only a temporary vessel that allows the soul to access the earth. Karmically, we are here to learn and grow. When a person becomes more spiritually aware, they grow to understand and accept these ancient beliefs. When you look at the two choices, it should be easy to believe in life after death rather than believe that death is final and we all have nothing else to look forward to. All religions are built on the premise that to obtain eternal life, you must be good in this one. The ontology has given humanity the insight into life after death. People who have had near-death experiences bring hope and report of better place. Books such as Saved by the Light by Danny and Brinkley offer inspiration and comfort to us all. In 1975, Danny and was struck by lightning as he made a telephone call to a business partner during a thunderstorm. He was pronounced dead in the ambulance on the way to the hospital. For a little over 21 minutes, he experienced what many people fear the most. What really happens when you die? Danny and Brinkley tells how his ethereal soul leaves his earthly body and floats high above looking down at the scene of his death. He felt no pain or sadness at leaving his body or his life behind. A tunnel of bright light appears in front of him, and he quickly is engulfed by it. As he progresses into the light, he feels an overwhelming sense of peace and love. He goes on to tell of meeting spiritual beings and being shown a beautiful spiritual realm. This life-changing experience is not unique to Danny and Brinkley. Thousands of others who have died on the operating table or after an accident only come back to the brink, have reported similar experiences. If Danny Ann had been the only person to profess to such a profound experience, then we could dismiss it as fiction or fantasy. A man with a wild imagination who suffered hallucinations, perhaps after a serious, almost fatal accident. There are nine common traits that thentologists like Raymond Moody have been able to define through countless studies with people who have had near-death experiences. This research proves that there is life after death. The nine common traits are as followed. Working with people who are dying. Reiki connects us to the universal life force. The energy and unconditional love that people who have had near-death experiences talk about. When you use Reiki in a situation such as with a person who is terminally ill, you are connecting them to the unconditional love of God and preparing them for their transition. You will often find Reiki temporarily revitalizes them so they have the energy to deal with any unfinished business they may have. It is important to help them, if possible, tidy up their affairs. 
Teach them to heal and mend any family relationships that may have been strained in the past. Encourage them to forgive and let go of any unnecessary anger and pain. Death is not a failure. It's a natural part of life. Encourage family members and friends to say goodbye and let the person who is dying know it's okay to go. And although it hurts, they can survive and carry on without them. This often brings relief and removes the feeling of guilt from the person who is dying. Reiki can alleviate pain and anxiety and bring final peace and harmony to the mind, body, and spirit. Reiki gives the person control of how and when they die. Reiki builds a bridge to the other side and brings the life of the person to a joyous conclusion. Treat the family and friends if possible with Reiki after their loved one has passed on. We have found while the soul has departed and gone on to a joyous beginning, the people left behind often find it extremely difficult to come to terms with losing a close family member or friend. Heal their pain and fill their mind, body, spirit, and lives with the unconditional and omnipotent love of Reiki. A person senses they are dead, a feeling of peace without pain no matter how they died, an out-of-body experience, their soul or essence floats above the dead body below, a tunnel appears and the person is drawn into another world, Beings of light appear, often deceased relatives and friends. A particular being of light appears to greet and guide them. The being of light takes them through a life review with highlights of pleasant and unpleasant aspects of their life. The person is told they must return. They feel reluctant to do so, but understand they have no choice. On returning, the person has a personality transformation. They no longer fear death and are often guided and inspired towards a new definite purpose in their life. The knowledge that there is life after death should be incorporated into your own life as well as the life of your family, friends, and people who you meet along your path to eternal life. We urge you to study and become more aware of how to use this knowledge to help people who fear death. Make their transition a happy and joyous experience. Treat also their families so they may celebrate in the knowledge that their loved ones are not suffering and lost forever. They have simply migrated to a beautiful spiritual world that is filled with pure, unconditional love. One day they once will meet again and be with them.